How are you doing, Tyler? Not good. What's hurting? My back. It hurts really bad. How how bad on a scale of one to ten? Probably an eight. An eight, pretty bad. And it's hard for you to walk. Okay, you guys, so you know who we are. We've got kind of an emergency situation here. Tyler injured his back, and it was kind of sort of unrelated to actually football. It was kind of like a roundabout way, right? It was some fluky thing. Yeah, and then I think... Uh, football irritated it. Irritated it, and it's not getting any better. It's been like three or four days now. We've had, like, had him resting on heating pads. And, it's and it was getting been... better. Just so you guys know, three or four days sounds like a long time. But he was getting better, and then he had another incident, which re-aggravated it. So he can't even go to school right now. Kayla's home. They actually did some testing in the morning and then we pulled them. So we're gonna go take Tyler right now to um, a doctor and let's go see what they say is the problem. Hopefully it's nothing bad. Pray for our boy. Yes, so we're on our way right now. Kayla's coming with us. We need our, our family support here. Come on, Tyler, let's go. Hey, you need some help? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, are you okay, bud? We got you, bud. I'm gonna kind of lift you up so you Take the pressure off your back. You all right? You okay? Do you like need to lay down back there, or are you gonna be okay sitting? Maybe we should put a crash helmet on him just in case. Uh, I think he'll be all right. Yeah, just he'll be all right. Okay. Don't drive like a crazy person, like like you usually do. <laughs> I don't drive like a crazy person. <laughs> Make it light of a little bit of a drama situation here. Okay, we made it to the doctor. You okay? You all right? Yeah. Gotta get this boy a wheelchair, or crutches, or something. We just got done with the doctors and um, he said I was hurting like everywhere so he couldn't pinpoint one spot. So right now we're just gonna head home. He recommended Tyler do some work in the swimming pool and see if he can't loosen up some of those muscles so that they can get a better look at what's going on. That's where we're at. Pain. Yep, still don't know. My little buddy's hurting. I gotta try to get him fixed up. Yep, so no more football. He's done forever probably. With that? Chess club. Yep, chess club. I'm digging that one. I think chess club would be a good direction to go. <laughs> and then when his back is better, he can go with dad to the gym and do weightlifting so he still gets his exercise. He'll still have PE at school and mom will be happy. Yay. Yay. Hi, mom. Well, what if I get hurt on the machines? You won't. Because <laughs> you're not going to be getting run into and hit by a machine. Hopefully. And we make a boxing machine. Heart. No, you'll be fine. So you're gonna go home and do some swimming. Okay. And then part two is gonna be how are we gonna get this pink out of Kayla's hair? Because <laughs> they are trying to get into a new school and they are a lot more strict now. They brought it up again today. They're all, when are you getting that pink out? And I've been looking everywhere and nobody gets pink out very well. So. We have to really, really focus on how we're gonna get this pink out today, and I don't know what's gonna become of it. So, fingers crossed, her hair doesn't fall out. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Did you say there's like a place in like Britain or something? Yeah, we gotta go to Britain. <laughs> Apparently it's the only place you can really get pink out without frying your hair, so um, yeah, we're gonna look into that one. <laughs> 
Maybe we'll just let Daddy work on it. We'll see what he can do. I think he had a good idea, didn't you? Oh, that for the hair? Yeah, I think we could just put like some brown hair dye in the toilet, put Kayla's head in there and just flush it, and then that way it'll just, swirlies. yeah, it'll just swirl it all That'll together. That'll give her that ombre effect, right? Yeah. I don't want brown hair, though. Or blonde, whatever, like a, you know, more, whatever her natural hair color is, we, we can match that. I think, I think we're gonna have to go with the bleach and then uh, maybe we should go to Sally Beauty again first and see what kind of blonde shades they have to put over the bleach because you don't want to have white hair. That's going to look not good. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Hi. So we're back home and Tyler is getting ready to go swimming in just a second. With all my clothes on. No, you yes. got to go change. But that's what the doctor called for. He said to get in the pool and start walking around and hopefully that'll help loosen up some of those tight muscles. Yay! If I can. You will. Not. Yep. And I'll keep an eye from in here. An eye from in here. Maybe I'll send daddy out there. I gotta work on Kayla's hair, so you oh, get no. going on that. And then Kayla, she's of course in the middle of slime. Should not be working on this slime girl. Actually, I don't care if we're gonna slime, but we have a couple hours before dance, and so we gotta get that pink out. If we don't get the pink out, the new school is not gonna let her go. It's very, very strict. It's a private school. It is a really good school. I think it, it'll be good. It'll be a good experience. So we're gonna go with it, and I think it's gonna be a good decision. They have a very strict dress code there. They're gonna be in uniforms. They don't wanna see the pink hair. So we're gonna do our best tonight to work on the hair before Kayla has to go to dance and I hope that we don't fry it because I don't want her to have short hair but if she does have short hair I'll still think she's adorable but we're gonna try and do it without destroying her hair yeah hello what you guys doing you saw Tyler outside you want to come play it hurts really bad sorry that's what he said to do walk around the pool Help loosen things up, decompress. <laughs> He's trying to play on his phone still. Luckily, it's somewhat waterproof. Those headphones aren't waterproof, though. I know. I'm trying not to see that in water. If you put that stuff down, you might be able to use a raft and kind of sort of float and see if that helps, too. Here's a little baby raft. You use it like a baby floaty when you put your headphones away and your phone. Nah. <laughs> and that way, you can try to take the weight off all together on your feet and try to float and kick. I'm doing good like this. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. Are you coming in, dogs? Come on, baby. Kayla's turn. We gotta get this pink out. <sighs> Hold your breath, people. Let's see what happens next. She might have no hair. It might be just like a little boy. <laughs> Here's our solution. Our mixture. This is what's gonna do it for us. And we're gonna throw some blonde that's back just, in. Yeah, that's just the bleach. That's good. Take out all the color out. You're gonna be white like a grandma. But the blonde is semi-permanent, she says, so it's not, so gonna, to keep it's not gonna stay. No. We should we have to find a permanent. The more you go white, the more we gotta keep coloring it until it's all grown out again. That's what the big can of worms was that we opened up by doing this. Now you gotta keep doing it forever until it grows out again. And then you'll be, It'll never grow out this way. It'll be grown out just in time for next summer to ruin it all over again. So are you ready? Okay, let's see how this goes. Try to cross your fingers and your toes. white um, we're gonna put some color over this and we have to wait a week there's just no way we can keep trying to bleach it because 
We're gonna have to chop all this off if we keep going. So we're gonna put some color in it and hopefully that will tone it down enough to where it's acceptable at school and she'll have to put it in a bun again probably or something if it isn't. And we're just gonna have to live with this and we're gonna keep working on it and it's just gonna take some time. Sad to see the pink go because it is adorable, but we have to follow the rules. to, I guess, cannons being shot in the background That's what it sounds like. Uh, I don't know if there's like a war zone nearby or something I'm not aware of, but yeah, like every so often I hear something. You guys listen for that. There, there it, is. it is. again. Someone's shooting something. We just finished Kayla's hair. Let's see. So this side's still got quite a bit of pink. Oh, you can hear the thundering sound again. On that side, it's almost gone. So we've got more blonde coming back. We're trying so hard to obey, but uh, we're going to need to keep working on that. It's going to take a few more weeks before we can get all that pink out. It's my protection of the war zone. Tyler, it looks like he's doing a lot better. How's your back feeling? It's hurting. It's hurting? Yeah. But does it feel better? A little. He's yeah. been spending the day working on it. It's right, still hurting, but he's like mucking around now, whereas before he was pretty much like Laid a robot. Out. He's like, yeah. yeah mucking uh. around. Dude, you just jumped inside the big cube like it was a fallout bunker or something. <laughs> I didn't jump in it. Uh-huh. <laughs> crawled in it. Ah! So we gotta get Kayla to dance. Tyler's gonna keep resting. He's gonna put some ice on his re-injured back again. Yes. And um, I'm gonna chauffeur Kayla around for a little bit. Yeah, I gotta get back to work. So we're gonna close this vlog out for today and say goodbye to you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed watching our crazy day. Yeah, crazy crazy day. life, our crazy whatever. What so, a crazy day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, until next time, bye! bye.